Good to see you, sir. Busy day. Um, okay, so that's no sound today. I don't know where he's at. You know, I'm actually a little a little angry because I'm looking at the .dot net uh, conf stuff, um, um, uh, and he should have his session uh, published. I don't know where it is. I need to check with him and see what happened there. You know. Right. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Um, I've not had a chance to have a look at any of that stuff yet. I've, is there anything cool in there that is like relevant to us, or is it just oh. business as usual? Microsoft is releasing new stuff. <laughs> it's, there's, there, there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, new stuff, but um, you know, um, it's just uh, it's just the um, what what was I uh, kind of going to talk about uh, this idea of. Uh, did you see the web token? Let me show you. There is this really cool thing that they were talking about yesterday. I thought I thought you might find it interesting. By the way, there's a session in .NET Conf about uh, using security for distributed systems. Take a look at it. I think it's nice. either in the yeah, I think it's either in the agenda today or tomorrow, like at some point in time. You know, so so yeah, check this out. Manage JSON web tokens. In development with .NET user JWTs, so now you can do just user .JWTs, and you have a bunch of options, you know, to kind of work with that. That's I thought that was pretty cool. You can clear, create, delete, you know, find a specific key, you know, list all the keys that you have. This is all brand new. These are all brand new stuff. Ken Swan was just telling me about this yesterday. That's pretty sweet. Pretty pretty sweet. Cool. Yeah yeah. Uh, you know, the, the minimal API stuff, you know, like I said to you, I was trying to kind of leverage it in uh, in Lake U, and I realized, you know, oh, it's, you know, they have this singleton thing that doesn't allow two instances to happen. I don't know if you watched the Levent uh, session with Ken Swan where we actually made it work. Like we had a, 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 a web application that we can just switch the configuration and it switches between Azure and a local queue. You know, and I'm just kind of productizing. Yeah, I'm productizing uh, the uh, the thing, and yeah, it'll be great. The, the last I heard, you were doing something along those lines. It was coming up, and you were like, "Watch this space." So yeah, I'd be curious to see if you've got something for that now. I'd be curious to go and have a look. And... Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely, 100. percent I need it, dude. Like I build for the most part, I build the things that I need for my own kind of applications. I I heavily use like in Git file. It's heavily relying on uh, queues and at work DMX, I'm really heavily relying on on queues. I need to be able to kind of go and say, okay, here's the end-to-end -end testing of that. But just so you know, this is like all of this is. I, I don't think people actually see where I'm going here. Like you know, the, sometimes we lose track of there's there's higher, bigger uh, goals. Like when I say cloud foreign, you know, it's actually just another thing under something called project abstraction. And the abstraction is that your application should not be leveraging like at the beginning we used to say hey brokers and these brokers will abstract away your external or non-native non-local libraries right now i'm going a little bit further and i'm saying anything that you're using needs to interface if possible with a standard compliant library that allows you to end it to, to test it end to end or it switches over to the provider whatever that provider is a very good example that I ha that I'm having these days with one of my uh, uh, my mentees is that I'm basically telling them check this out. So they're trying to do something like let me show you. They're trying to kind of send emails, just you know, incorporate sending emails in an application. Everybody can do that, right? That's not a big deal, right? However, mm -hmm. you know, a part of project abstraction is to basically go and say, okay, here's your app, your system. And you're using, you have a broker, and you're the broker is talking to, let's say, SendGrid, for instance, so SendGrid, like that, right? And SendGrid is going and sending emails. How do you accept and test that? You can't, right? You can't accept and test that because that means you're gonna be sending emails every time you're you're doing an acceptance test because it's meant to, you know, validate. So, what I said, I said, okay, let's go. Uh, what did she call it? She called it uh, Rack Ascend. Rack Ascend. I said, hey, let's build a library. And Rackascend will basically go and say, hey, we can pretend that there is a, a fake uh, server, 
right? This is local fake email API, right? Or you can send it to whatever provider it is. In this case, it would be SendGrid, right? That the part that I'm going to kind of pull some people in, I'm just kind of working slowly with the community because if I dump everything in my head, people are just going to run away. People will be like, this guy's out of his mind. They want to deal with him, right? But <laughs> Dump it at me, man. I'll help you digest it. So, so, so here's here's one for you. <laughs> just just one for, for, for a good measure. These libraries will follow a, some pattern. There will be something called core, and this core has the local server, but we need to allow several providers, like something like Syngrid, something like i don't know uh azure mail whatever the case may be you're, you're doing with libraries and dependencies in general what i did with ef yes because i went okay i've got some storage broker yes. that's essentially ef yes and i've got ef microsoft sql and i've got ef like sql light for like local yep. scenarios where developers don't want to install full sql server or let's say they're Callum and decided to get an an Apple machine that runs on an ARM CPU. Are you serious? You can't install Microsoft SQL on it. <laughs> <so you> can... <laughs> He's gonna have to. Well, no, you you could you could install SQL on it. You just need a Docker container. <laughs> Sorry, man. Yeah. So the yeah. So the idea was that I wrote the. Um, uh, for you, it would be the broker object, right? So I wrote the, the DB context object, which I instantiate for my brokers. And then I built child libraries that contained the migrations and all the specific stuff for a given provider. So I had the, just like this, I had the core, which was like the implementation, which contained the DB context. And then I had provider one, provider two. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting that you're, you're taking this route um, and I can show you how I did my. my I told ES you stuff. you're not. Uh, I told you you're not wrong. I told you, you know. Yeah. Oh, that's that's good. It's good. It means that somehow I've kind of preempted stuff that you're now coming up with, and and actually we're on the same page, which is is good to know because at least then when I can have some confidence that like what I'm building in the community when I'm you know when I'm doing my own stuff, you know, I can say, hey, well. Hassan would think this about it, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, the, the the next big thing is all this um, dependency injection, service providers, and changes yes. stuff like that. Yeah, so. yeah, abstraction. I want to basically create something that people can go and say, okay, let me install this library, and then do a dot and create an extension method that comes out of you know, just like how Entity Framework did use SQL. You know, you can turn it into use Cosmos, use whatever that case may be. However, because these non-standardized systems and we're building standardized systems, I'm now pushing the abstraction a little bit further. I'm going and saying, okay, these libraries are not built in a properly engineered way that can allow end-to-end -end testing. It's, it's, it's costly. You know what SendGrid went and said? They said, oh, if you want to do end-to-end -end testing, you know, you can just create this test account, right? But we still need to charge you for it. That's what I mean by cloud oh, four yeah it's uh, yeah such a shitty practice, yeah yeah it's, yeah yeah it's really disgusting so oh. yeah 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 screw that uh so so hear me out um uh have you ever done i'm just sharing this with you for fun um have you ever done uh mocking for a sequence like i want to call a function once it will return something and then i want to call it again it returns something else and so on and so forth do you know, have you ever done anything like that in mocking? I've heard it can be done, but I've deliberately yes. tried to keep my tests so, so, simpler so, so, so that I don't have to do that. Okay, so for no reason at all, I'm sharing this with you. You can actually do this, right? So now all you got to yeah. do is to basically go and say, if the first time it gets cold, it will return this. The second time it can return something else and so on and so forth. Just as simple as that. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool, actually. There, there's absolutely no reason that I'm sharing this with you other than just sharing it with you right now. Okay, right. I, I don't have a plan. I'm just sharing this with you. Okay, of course, with the people watching us uh, for, for, for the for the YouTube channel. Okay, so let me let's see where we're at here. I think we just need a couple of validation things and it will be done. What is it? Tell me what what's wrong? I'm already thinking. I think I know what you might use something like that for. <laughs> A lot of things. <laughs> a lot of things. A lot of things. Yeah. I was just I was just talking to my team yesterday, like my team here at Microsoft, and I basically said to them the 
you know, they, they were doing an orchestration service uh, for something called DMX agent. It's basically an agent that runs and, and basically picks up flows and executes them and stuff like that. And uh, one of the um, uh, 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 the, the, one of the things that I talk about is this came up right yesterday. So as soon as I opened up my computer, I saw this there. I said, hey, I'm going to share this with, with Paul for no apparent reason whatsoever. <laughs> Okay, let's see where we're at, my dear friend. So we're building this SQL thing, aren't we? So this is the logic retrieve. Did you make it pass already? Do you know? I think you did, didn't you? I think so, yeah, if you just get latest. And you pushed it and everything? Yeah. Okay, should I trust you? That's the real question. Never. Should I trust you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Of course not. Okay, so this is working. Okay, uh, what do we need? We need a new model. And this is will be a under O sequels O sequels, and this new model, my dear friend, will need to have some exceptions. And under these exceptions, we're gonna have man coding is one of the most fun things, you know, I've ever done ever. Like it's just it's just amazing, especially when you're working with people and you know people understand what you're talking about. That's that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. And uh, null expression. O SQL exception. So you have this guy, and here is the, here is the like. I don't think people get get to have the chance to kind of truly appreciate the amazing stuff that you know we're doing as software engineers. Hey Sam. Hey Sam. Sa Sam, where is your session? I'm I I didn't see your session published uh, in the .NET Conf. Why? In the agenda. It's MS. Don't need to call friends. Yeah, I know. I went like I went to look it's at the. It's not the net conference. It's different. Oh, oh, the dot net. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So got my it. session was in the Microsoft Donut conference. It's mm -hmm. it it uh, it is facing Microsoft internal developers. Ah. Oh. Uh -huh. So you can't find my session online. In conference. I did. I did but ask the them. The conference is for the worldwide. I know. Uh, I know. W worldwide. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I know. But, I uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So there's a difference. I only thought it it is the same, but it's different. Okay then. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. Paul, looks, you... Paul, you look younger. Paul was well, yeah, yeah. I found a light. So I can afford the energy bill now. He, he, he finally got a. I don't know if it's just that. I don't know if that's coming from his screen or he actually got an actual, you know, uh, you know, light for his uh, face. <laughs> no, I, I actually got. Uh, it's one of these Philips Hue bulbs, so I think you can like um, program it and change colors and all sorts with it. It's random as hell. Yeah, it's a smart bulb. Whatever floats your boat, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got it mainly because, like, I I like the idea of having a bit more light in here because, like, even you, you guys have pointed out, it can be we can't can see. Get quite yeah. quite dark yeah. in here. But I don't I don't want it on like full whack like it is at the moment. This is I think this is at like hundred percent brightness, so I might turn it down to about ten percent. I I'm not one for light. <laughs> okay. He's like making one of these social media moments. I woke up like this. <laughs> okay, Paul. Okay, man. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> All right, let's let's do an exception here. Sam, I'm I'm uh, so sorry. I you know they. I'm trying to find time that kind of fits your 9:30 schedule, but it's getting a little harder. Uh, hey, the good news is uh, I'm going like on a vacation starting. Uh, the end of this week and until the end of the year so i'll have all the time in the world to do these sessions whenever you know whenever you guys are available i'll be available I'll be just writing my books upgrading the standard writing my fourth book and so on and so forth you're on mute brother what you, did you uh say? you will start your vacation end of this week but literally we'll be back we'll be back end of this year yeah 2023 yeah I have a lot of vacation time. I don't take vacations. I know. You know, like I, I just discovered I have like 300 hours. Like, like, what am I? <laughs> so it's like, okay, fine. I'll... So you will visit Paul? Yeah, probably I should go visit Paul. 
I should, I should just, I should just show up at his door and be like, "Hi." <laughs> I, I forgot I sent you my address, didn't I? That would be sketchy. I can yeah. imagine one day, like, opening the door and being like, "What?" <laughs> no, you should come on down. Come on, see Sunny Andover in the pissing rain. I, I, I have, to, I, I have to go anyway because I want to go back to Cumbria, uh, and Tisside. Cumbria? Yeah, Cumbria and Tisside, they are really nice places. How far are you from Cumbria, son? Are you super far from Cumbria? Is uh, that what it is? Teesside, Cumbria. I think that's that's up north, isn't it? Yes, north, yes. north, northwest. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's a ways from here. Probably what four or five hour trip in the car. Yeah, just just so you know, like England in general is just like te- the state of Texas in here. So when you say four or five hours, that's like that the time I take to go get groceries. So it's not really it's You're not, not wrong. It's not, it's like we like, like the, that. We're like, like a little small community on our little island, you know? Like dude, like dude, this country is literally like Australia is a continent, and we're still bigger than them. Like we're bigger <laughs> than the entire continent in Australia. So. Anyway, no, if, if you're about though, if you're in England, let me know and I'll uh, I'll come and meet up you somewhere, you know, even if it's just by your pint or whatever. Okay. <laughs> uh, I will do that. Sam, you want to come with? I wish I can. Yeah, you you burned all your vacations. But I, buddy. I don't have yeah. many vacations. Yeah. I, I have vacations, but I don't. You work for Microsoft. It's an all-year-round vacation. <laughs> I knew this was coming. I knew he was going to say, hey, dude, you work for Microsoft. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you guys have all the money and all the vacation in the world? Exactly, I, yeah. You don't I, do I, work for a living. I, ha- I, have, I have to say, though, like today I was a little bit sad and because I woke up this morning and our, our friends at Meta, like 11,000 of them just got dropped today. Just like that. Did you hear about that, Yikes. Sam? Yikes. What happened? Did, Downscaling? Um, Zuckerberg is just uh, dropping people, you know, from the sky. That's what it is, you know. Can so, Microsoft uh, take any of them on to do HoloLens? Because it's probably a transferable skill set, right, at some level. They are not? They're, they, they got fired. Oh, they are not? Oh, I, I, I haven't uh, checked the news this mm. morning. Yeah. Mind yeah. you, there's still massive shortages of programmers, isn't there? So I don't think they'll have a, a problem finding another job. That's but it's right. just, it, it sucks to hear that kind of thing, though. Yes, it really is. And, uh, you know, I have this uh, Facebook community where I basically tell people, hey, you know, if you have open positions, if you want to do something for other people, just let me know because, you know, you can sh- you can share it with the community. I, I don't really see... And Microsoft people and Amazon people and Meta people, although that we're all basically in the same town, you know, uh, it's more like, hey, if we can do something for these folks, let's do it, you know. So we'll see, man. It's going to be great. Yeah. Expected. Yeah, this the, these things happen, uh, don't happen quite often. So it's quite uh, shocking, you know. Exception. It's difficult, isn't it? Because like, I I don't feel that like the big companies really like make themselves accountable for some of the if you like the high level management decisions. Sometimes they don't realize that like if you're like not quite the board of directors, but if you're like the level below that, and you mm-hmm. make like a departmental decision mm-hmm. in a company that size, mm-hmm. it's very easy to just. You know, it's like tens of thousands of people that are affected, and mm-hmm. I'm I'm kind of thankful in a way that although I'm quite high up in the sort of hierarchy in the company I work for, if I make a big decision, I know it's only going to affect two or three people. You know, it's mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. it's not going to affect like tens of thousands. So it's nice yep. knowing that I don't have that clout to some extent, if you know what yep. I mean. Yeah, yep. You don't you don't want to have that clout. The pressure of this is just. Uh quite unnerving you know so you definitely don't want to have that i I do think the law should be structured though to make people that do have that level of clout more accountable for their the livelihoods of people if you know what i mean well well in america it's employment at will do you understand like you know employment will meaning that if i don't want you today get out it's over 
right? However, some some states mandate some laws, like you know whatever Elon did, Elon Musk did in, in Twitter. Uh, he's now having like a, a lawsuit class act about the uh, uh, you know not giving people notice and stuff like that. But it's different from one state to another, right? Like every state has its own laws in here. Right. So it, what you can do in one state that's legal can be illegal in a different state. Right. It's it's very interesting. It's America. Right. It's fun. <laughs> it's, it's full of a lot of weird things. You know, yeah, so. I, I, my only experience, because I remember like previous company I worked for, um, we got bought by a bigger American company and I ended up with like an American line manager. Mm -hmm. And it's a totally different attitude to when you have mm -hmm. like an English line manager. Yep. And you see like the way they treat you is just completely different. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know if it was just like my limited experience or whatever, but the attitude is very much that is like, you know, if they get a bee in their bonnet about something, they can just say, go away. You're not mm -hmm. employed anymore. Whereas mm -hmm. over here, if somebody did that, you'd be facing an employment tribunal and that company would be charged for all the time that you're not earning money. So okay. you can claim that money back plus legal expenses, plus some kind of, um, you know, contribution on top so employers are very careful about how they fire people over here yeah um so like you know i've been in a situation where i've employed people for whatever reason they've gotten through the interview and process and they're just not made the cut when they're on the job right and if they're outside of like their um the probationary periods you then got this problem of okay how how can you now structure the act of getting rid of somebody who's clearly not fit for purpose in the role so you have That's to right. give them every opportunity to improve and you have to go through the process of saying okay we've tried this we've tried this we've tried this you're still not cutting it now you can get rid of them but that's such a long-winded process so over here when you apply for a job I think it's much harder to get a job in the first place mm -hmm, mm -hmm. than it would be over in America. I, th I think like if I applied for a job in America, I think I'd have a much easier life getting a job, but I'd be much more concerned about losing it, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It's so much stressier, dude. Like you have no idea. Like um, like I said to you, it's employment at will. You know, like if you're, if, if they don't want you, you're out, you know, just out like a trout, yeah. you know. Hey, Sam, you want to make this test pass? You have Visual Studio installed on your machine. Can Can you remember how to write code? <laughs> this guy, it's this been guy, a while. he's been Sam, Sam has been taking a vacation for a while. You got to get him to write some code now. Yeah, Come it's on. been at least six months, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. He's, he's starting to, he's, he's starting to develop this management experience where he kind of does none of the work, takes all the credit, kind of thing. You know? Oh, it's one of them. Do you need time to reinstall Visual Studio then <laughs> and learn how to use GitHub again? <laughs> Sam, Sam. <laughs> okay. He's like, no. Nope, Which I'm branch? Move back to Dubai. Oh, Blame the broadband. Oh, oh, look, look for O SQL. <laughs> O S Q L. Come on, Sam. Come on. Come on, brother. You can do it, bro. Come on. Come on. Yes. It's interesting. Come on. Our uh, last session raised a lot of questions amongst the community. Oh, I've of had course. So many direct messages. Yep. So, um, yeah, I think we need to to follow up on that one. So, it's, it, so I didn't think so many people were interested. Oh my God! Why your internet is cutting out now? Is it Visual? Okay. Is it back to Dubai? Yeah. Is it is it is it either Visual Studio or or uh, Streamyard or like what's the deal here? Can you use both programs at the same time, Sam? <laughs> come, come on, son. I'm getting old. Let's do it. <laughs> we lost got that. A CPU yeah, that was constructed 20... within the last twenty years. <laughs> Or are you still programming on a potato? It's, 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 this is this is the time to troll Sam. Sam Shu is going to be trolled today. It's going to happen. Let's go, my brother. Okay. Come on, Sam. Mm -mm. Sam, your internet is cutting out. Just FYI. I'm, I'm doing. Don't switch it off and on again. It might not come back. No. <laughs> the problem is. It's green. It's Dubai, isn't it? Window. It's giving me giving me Dubai vibes. <laughs> Here we are. 
Look at you. What? What What are but, we looking at here, Sam? But not responding for the Visual Studio. Oh, just wait a while. I'll wait, okay? It's not responding for the Visual It's not responding, right? That's a little problematic. Okay, while Sam is setting it up, pick it up, Paul. What? Yeah, it's your turn. Let's do it. Oh. We gotta have to keep the ball rolling, son. You're from England. You should know this better. <laughs> Did you guys play soccer or something? <laughs> so slow. What? Happened? I can't. I can't hear you, Paul. I don't know what you're saying. I'm just sitting here thinking soccer. <laughs> soccer. 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 <laughs> soccer. Bloody Americans. Americans. <laughs> Like, like, like. Right. I've done a get latest. Uh, what, what's the new test? Is it under uh, OSQLs? Yeah, it's under OSQL. Just run all the things under OSQL. Run all the things. All the things. All the things That's in the sick. world. Yeah. I suppose you want me to share this, don't you? Slave drive. Absolutely. Here we go. It threw some. Oh, it, it, it threw an exception to say it didn't throw an exception. Right, okay, a thing. So you're expecting an exception uh -huh. um, uh, in the event that your expression is null, right? So you're uh -huh. giving it a, a null expression. Yeah, that, that makes sense. And we're passing that in here, right? So implementation. Uh, how do you want this done? Oh, oh. What what is it? What is it, Sam? Um, Do you want to share your screen? So so let me yeah, tell you this. Let, 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 let Paul do this one mm -hmm. because he already started, and I'll give you the other failing test. Everyone gets a test, like all pro and free, right? You get a test, and you get a test. You get a test. It's fine. Everyone gets a test. So who, who is typing? Is Paul? Paul. Paul Wardy, the, the British guy. Uh, what exception was it? A uh, 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 null null expression or SQL exception. Uh, All the way at the top, son. By the way, um, no, nope, not this one. This mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Yes, Sam. Go ahead. So it, so I uh, um sorry um, but I I want to share my thought. So mm -hmm. we are finished most of the code yeah and sometimes we are uh write a lot of code but it's it's a little bit of, uh repeated the previous one pattern yeah yeah um so next session can we do some other things i mean uh to write a test case like this is familiar for the community yeah okay. and i do think any audience who is looking or who is learning from our session mm. understands the logic, understands the pattern, understands the process. Um, is it is it time to go to the next? But you said you will have a vacation, right? Uh, what I'm thinking is, but we cannot move on without you. I of mean, of course you can. We can. Oh yeah. Why can't you? Um Huh? Paul, is it okay for you? <laughs> um I'm I'd not... like to move on. Uh -huh. To the next step. Um Uh huh. So it we can Oh, you made it fast to catch up with the the mm. the schedule yeah what do you think you want to fix the schedule not fix the schedule i mean to follow up the schedule so we made yeah we've we've been we've been uh we've been meeting up for by the way sam like once this is done we're gonna have mm -hmm. an orchestration and, or and a coordination service done 
-hmm. and then we'll, and then I'm gonna need you to publish the NuGet package. We're gonna need mm -hmm. to. I gonna I'm gonna need you to do this part because you know the the uh, that first alpha release is very important you know for us to put it out there for the community for people to start testing it and 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 so we're able to see the end to end picture right um, so yeah other than that I think I think you should be fine I'm also yeah. I'm also not like going on vacation from my side projects this is this happens to be a side project i'm just going on vacation from my uh the uh what should i call it the the uh the day job you know the eight hour you know but other than that i'll be just sitting kind of you know looking after things making sure there's been a, there's a lot of projects that i want to kick off and start and all that so this is all this is all part of that okay, okay. Uh, I have a question. Will you bring your laptop with uh, with you during the vacation? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I not my work laptop, but uh, I can. Work. Yeah, just just my own laptop. You know, I'm not actually really going anywhere either. I'm just sitting around and you know taking care of things that uh, uh, I've been I've been working on. So there's some big projects that uh, I've been trying to finish up, and uh, you know this is. This is my way of doing that. You know what I mean? Okay. So so anyway, so Paul, you're done, right? Yep. All done. Test passing. Okay. Committed. Okay. Okay. Get Perfect. Based. Perfect. Let's see if. Um, let's see here. Let's see if I can. Uh, let's see if I can give you a failing test. <laughs> Let's go back here. Let's see. Where did Sam go? Sam. It's just lag. <laughs> <laughs> I Sam. forgot. Sam, you're lagging. <laughs> You had to go and send off another carrier pigeon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's going? Paul, mo make a proper commit. This is not how we handle exceptions, son. <laughs> what did the test to pass? It passes. <laughs> go make a proper commit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll fix it. All right, let's see here. See, this cutting corner is exactly how software turns into garbage, right? <laughs> so let's fix that. So here is our what did, valid. What did uh, Paul do? He, 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 uh, he cut corners. He cuts corners. <laughs> yeah. Validation start exceptions. So that, so it, let's it, back to it, my previous question. Yeah. You know, we can do something. Paul yeah. can do something. I can do something. Yeah. But sometimes we make make mistakes. I mean, we no. He, he knows we, he's making we, mistakes. We he's just a troll. <laughs> it's not follow up your pattern. It's not follow up your guiders. Paul, yeah. do you think what? Right? Yeah. So, uh, um, I don't know, man. I'm I'm new to all this stuff. I, uh -huh. I, I've never written code in my life. That's right. <laughs> That's right. If, if, Obviously, I'm looking at your code right now. Go ahead, Sam. What were you saying? Fair. <laughs> I asked for that, didn't I? <laughs> Go ahead, Sam. I'm sorry. So I was trying to make a point, Paul. Shut, shut up for a second. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, Sam. What do you want to say? Go ahead. Mm. Mm. Go ahead, Sam. Sam, go ahead. <laughs> he can't he can't help himself not to stay quiet for one sec i can't help myself either so just you're gonna have to just talk through it <laughs> tell me you don't what is it patterns what were you saying <laughs> so just like uh, paul did so uh, paul can write some code but it's not yeah uh, best not standard compliant not best <laughs> but it's yeah. better yeah um so I, can, I, I, I will do the same thing. I, I will I will I can write some codes, but it's not the best. Yes, it has to based be based on your 
input. Standard, that's right. Yeah, based on the standard. Right. So we are trying to help ourselves to learn your standard, but it's 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 still need time. Yes. So um, during your vacation, we cannot, we can have some sync meeting together between Paul and me, and uh, yeah. I I think I can drive. Um, yeah. But the code from right. us, right? Is sometimes it's not uh, good for you. So when yeah. you back end of yeah. this year, yeah, possibly you will change everything. <laughs> no, no, just just <laughs> like I, all the codes from Paul and me. <laughs> just, just like I said to you, it's by the way, Paul is just playing playing kind of around, but he knows uh, how to do this. But uh, the like I said to you, I'm, I'm not like in terms of uh, 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 in in terms of uh, me uh, being away. This is just for for the day job. So I'm not going to be able to come in and say, "Hey guys, let's cut it short," right? I'm not going to cut it short, okay. you know, because I do want to get Odata Neo uh, Alpha release out, and we're getting really, 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 really close, right? You know, we've gone through, you know, a whole lot of things. The thing that's, that matters to me out of all of this is that um, we we got to know each other better. You don't know someone unless you code with them. You know, you can you can pretend and say, oh, this guy is the best engineer in the world or all that kind of stuff. You don't know who someone truly is as an engineer until you work with them, right? And when you work with them, you're going to figure out whether they... Is this person, does this person cut corner? Do they have standards? Do they not have standards? You know, do they care about this driven development? Do they write code and they know that it's wrong and they just troll on on on, on, on live streams? You know, all these kind of questions that comes to mind. None right? of us do any of that. Yeah, no, nothing like that at all. Mm. <laughs> see, see, Paul, you're making me do the work, you know, and then I'm going to be like, okay, this guy doesn't want to be a part of this project. <laughs> that, that's impossible, Hassan. You told us in the last stream, you don't do any work, right? I don't. <laughs> but now, but now I am. So you're making me write code. <laughs> you know how much I don't like writing code. It's just, it's just a torturous to me. <laughs> Oh, the suffering you must be going through oh, right now. Oh, oh, oh. Are you okay? <laughs> how, how can I ever? How can I possibly can, ever? Can I say, say like that? Uh, uh, working code is the best code. Working code? No, working code is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's go. Sam, you're going to have to... Huh? Let's do this. And then I want to, this is our expression. Why is this guy tripping? Uh, funk delegate. I don't believe this thing is really failing. I think Visual Studio is just kind of sick and tired. Enable. I don't know what I enabled. Oh, by the way, while I'm doing this, uh, let's see. Uh, string funk. Oh, what are you returning? Yeah, you are returning a string. Uh... Uh, delegate. Funk. Don't you using delegate? I think right. Yeah, you, you're using funk, right? So you either yeah. use delegate or you use funk. Hmm. That's right. Sure. But we, but we actually, I think we actually use delegate because funk and action doesn't do. Yeah, and that's here's the delegate is just stream. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, hmm. that's that that's what it is. Yeah, I kind of, you know, you know, streaming, talking while you're coding, that'll get you there. Uh, let's do that. Equal function. Without the parentheses? Yeah. Yeah, we probably do. <laughs> we don't need the parentheses, right? No, we do need the parentheses, you guys. Do you know how many times I, I wrote that line of code? Like, the standard is anti DRY, so. Let's see. Private delegate string returning. Yeah, it's just tripping. Visual Studio is just tripping. <laughs> hmm. This is where you just sit there and, and tell Visual Studio like that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You know what that means, Paul? Wednesday, mm -hmm. Thursday, Friday, WTF? Wednesday, Thursday, yeah, Friday? Right. <laughs> yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, what WTF, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, WTF. 
<laughs> yeah, WTF, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's what it stands for, right? I thought that's what that's what it is. <laughs> because Fridays is when it always happens. Yes. And nothing ever happens on Tuesday, right, Paul? Tuesday. 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 Mon Mon Monday. <laughs> Monday. Friday. Stand. Fix Paul's mess. Fix Paul's. Wait, my accent's not that bad, is it? It's terrible. It's terrible. <clears throat> oh, fair enough. Move on to try catch. I mean, yeah. I guess if an American's saying that, it's probably a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> So let's say Saturday, <laughs> Monday. <laughs> How do you say Sunday, Paul? Say Sunday. Sunday. Oh, that's boring. <laughs> Come on, do, do, do something to it. Jump higher. <laughs> Those Brits are just not as weird as you make us out to be. Just I don't know where you get it from. Just, just poking you, telling you, hey, <laughs> say Monday. <laughs> And you wonder why I write bad code for you. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. Do you call it Tuesday because people chew on that day? Or what? Like, what's the. <laughs> Tuesday. Tuesday. We have a special word for people like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, friends, let's handle the exceptions. So this is a paste. This is. The exception, Sam, this is going to be your turn. Try to get your Visual Studio running this time, son. You know, like, here's the it's thing. Me. Okay. Okay. For the two of you, just so you guys understand, this is a session, right? As soon as you join that session, your Visual Studio should be ready. So we don't waste time like, oh, my God. It's, where's it's, my it's Visual ready. Studio? No, it's not. You weren't. It's... You let me down, Sam. <laughs> no. No. Okay. No. Hmm. Paul takes my turn. I will take Paul's turn. Yeah, take Paul's turn. What? Old <laughs> <laughs> <It's laughs> <a> SQL dependency <laughs> exception. My God. And then we want to go and say. Foundations all SQL get. Okay. Yeah. Did you get the the right branch? Public. I think so. Did you users get the right slash branch? users. Mm -hmm. Python slash foundations OC cook it. That's correct. That's correct. So, so I have the OC course exception. So we have the field OC code dependency. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Uh huh. So that's the case. Ah, well, 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 well. well, 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 well. <laughs> How the table have turned. <laughs> How the turntable. <laughs> okay, so, 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 Paul, let me ask you a question. What do you think about Ricky Gervais? Oh, God. <laughs> Ricky Gervais is a stand-up comedian in England. Actually, there's one one thing that stuck with me that um, he said. He was on a talk show. I think I think it was an American talk show once. Yep, yep. And he was talking about um, religion. He was talking yep. about um, like the Bible, for example. Yeah. He said, um, and it, the talk show asked a question about the comparison between like religion and science. Mm -hmm. And he said, okay, if we got rid of all of the science books today and all of the knowledge... If we you'll got be, rid you'll of be all... able to rewrite them again, but if you get rid of all religion, you can't rewrite it again. Yeah, yeah. and he said that's the difference between faith and knowledge. Yeah. And I, that kind of stuck with me a little bit. Um, and I thought it was quite a relevant thing, but I wonder how many people from religious communities got really super offended by that. Because... I didn't. I heard him. I didn't get offended. It, yeah. it, you know what you know what he said makes sense because you know science is about the seen religion is about the unseen so how can you oh, know fair. about yeah how can you know about the unseen if you uh if you're not being told right from from yeah. an outside source but anyway yeah i know i i i listened to ricky gervais i i he has a very sad netflix um his stand-up comedy is hilarious believe it or not like 
you know, I just don't you know, find the guy funny. You don't, I, I don't, don't know you why. don't find him funny. No. Yeah, I just I find his his wits a little bit sort of dry for me. If you know what I mean. He he actually this person actually has a very extremely hard life actually. Like he he's he's quite like when they say comedy is coming from a dark place, they're not kidding. This is this is true. Like uh, the 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 Netflix series he created, I think I think he called it Another Life or something like that. I can't remember really, Paul. But <laughs> is that the one where like um he was playing a guy where like his wife died? Yes, it? yes. Yeah, I remember seeing that, and actually some of the jokes in it were quite funny. <laughs> it, it it's it's hilarious, but uh, you can tell like there is a lot of, you know, he's carrying a lot, right? This uh, he's as an as an individual, he's carrying quite a bit. You know, and that's and that's quite interesting just to see. Do, you know what I do mean? Do you think that's like really him though, or or is that more the character he's playing? That's a mystery. I don't know. To be honest with you, Paul, I do not know. I do so, not. I know. mean, that that could be a sign. Like, if you feel that like it portrays a good reflection of him, then you could just say, well, he's just being himself, right? But if mm -hmm. it's not a good reflection of him, then you then could it's argue, not real. Yeah. Well, you could argue that he's just a really good actor. Is so he a either good way, actor? yeah. I mean, either way, he's either got a lot of talent, or his comedy comes from a really dark place. <laughs> and 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 it usually does. By the way, just so you know, it usually does come from a very, very, very dark place, and that's the interesting part about all of this, right? So, uh, but anyway, I, I feel I... like proper comedy has been like killed off by political correctness. Oh like, yeah. I used to love now. stuff like Monty Python. I used to find that hilarious because they would just like take the mick out of like, you know, really daft things. Like I remember one one thing they had a skit about. Um, there was a, like a bloke, a group of men just sat on a rock, you know, having a chat. And one of them said, I've decided I'm a woman, you know, and then they had this like transgender skit and it was just like really politically incorrect. But back then it was funny. Today, mm -hmm. it's just considered so offensive. And I just feel like the way that we've we've come on socially now is like you can't you can't be funny about anything without offending someone, if you know what I mean. Whereas back then people would say, Okay, I'm a little bit offended, but it is kind of funny. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so I, I kind of miss without trying to be offensive to anyone, I kind of miss the days when we had real comedy, if you know what I mean. Nowadays it's kind of like the only comedy you can have is kind of to the detriment of yourself. Otherwise, you're definitely offending someone, if that makes sense. <laughs> Which is why I spend most of my streams going, yeah, I'm a bad coder. Or <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> picking on you, because I know you won't take it to heart. <laughs> no, nope. I'm fine, man. I'm good. Um, okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's see here. All right, Sam, it's your turn, by the way, with your bright screen that's going to blind all of us. Yeah, there you go. Zoom in a little bit, son. You're, you're blinding me straight. Go for it. Uh. What has this stream come to? We're like we're talking about all the hard-hitting issues now. <laughs> ne that's, next, I mean, next week we'll be overthrowing governments and you know <laughs> defining political correctness. <laughs> watch, watch, YouTube, watch YouTube moderation kind of... You know, raise their eyebrows at this one because you know they scan everything you upload, right? I was uh, doing a podcast with Jeff Fretz. Have, have you heard that name before, Jeff Fretz? He 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 talks a lot about Blazor. You know, you see him a lot in the .NET con, .NET. You know, so uh, I shared with him a a a clip from like a really old TV show, and I got dinged for it. You know, someone reached out and was wow. like, "Hey, this is copyrighted material. You can't even play two seconds of it." You know, in here, I was like, "Oh, okay. Let me re let me remove that part from the video," uh, because Jeff is awesome. Like Jeff is amazing. You know, he says a lot of great things and he has a lot of great ideas. But but like I said to you, like these podcasts, just it, it's capturing something that you can't find on the internet, which is how That's do software yeah how do software engineers actually talk to each other and build systems with each other? How does that work, right? <laughs> Like people will go and talk about certain events and certain things, but they never talk about this, this particular thing. Okay, let's see, Sam. Let's go, Sam. It's just a try catch. You can do it. You can do it. Run the test first. Yeah, you, 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 code. Code. you code like you're being watched because <laughs> you yeah. get it right. 
Whereas yeah. I just chuck code in there and go, here you go, sign all fixed. That, that's that's my own entertainment. When people just kind of screw up, like like I've been doing this for years and years now. Like I have videos that go back 10 years ago on YouTube, right? But when I bring someone like you on and you're just starting this whole streaming thing with me and you're just like, oh, what am I doing? This is so unnerving. I'd be like, ha, 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 ha. I just get the kind of just <laughs> like, you suck. Oh, <laughs> I do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a typical programmer, though. I, you know, I'm yeah lazy as they come they, uh, who is it i think it was it was someone popular who said you know you I want remember. a job done well get a lazy programmer to do it because they'll find the quickest oh, simplest gates. way to get it done they, they attribute it to bill gates but i don't know if bill gates actually said it but uh, uh but the, but the other funny thing about this is that um the the i remember the first time i pulled you and sam and and the other guys uh nick and uh and uh, and joe you know, some of you were like a deer in a headlight. It was hilarious. I just go back to these videos just for the fun laughs. Like, what? What? Is it me? Am I supposed to write code now? I was like, ah, ah, ah. I still have jokes about that every now and again. With like Callum, I'm saying that you know, sat in, the, in a, you know a scrum or something, and I'm like, I can't oh believe that like Hassan gave me such a simple problem. And... By the yeah. way, I, I intentionally, just so you understand, I'm supposed to write a failing test, give it to you to make it pass, and you write a failing test and give it to me to make it, you know, to, to write a, pa a failing test and you give it to me to make it pass. However, I try to simplify it a little bit for you. I hope you guys appreciate <laughs> the, the, the sacrifice. <laughs> okay, Sam, you got it. Let's go. We need Run to that. simplify. We're both beginners. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Me you know, and Sam just, don't know how to write code anymore. <laughs> just, just in this channel alone, there's at least half a century of engineering experience. That's crazy. So that's pretty cool. That's crazy. God, I've been programming for over 20 years now. That's horrible to think. Why is it horrible? No, I suppose it's a good thing. It's, it's, I, don't think, I don't consider it time wasted, put it that way. I've gained a lot of knowledge. I've met a lot of smart people. Learn what not to do a lot. <laughs> right. <clears throat> what are we doing, Sam? Sam is trying to run the test. Oh, he's, he needs to spin up the potato and kick the hamster. Yeah, yeah this, this freaking potato he has running. Yeah. It's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> I had this buddy of mine who used to... Like, I would tell him, run the test before you make the commit to make sure things have passed. He said, let's just assume that it passed. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's why he would do that. He literally was writing code on a Surface Go. That's like a thin tablet that is meant for you to send an email, and then it just burns into flames. That's all that it's capable of, <laughs> just sending one email, and then it just burns. <laughs> Wait, it can handle that? <laughs> Okay, Sam, you got it. Send it, send, send, send it. You got it, Sam Hugh. Sam Hugh from Northwestern you. Alabama. Back to me. Let's give Paul one failing test and call it a day, boys. That's that's all that it is. Here. Paul, get ready because I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a failing what? test now. No, don't make me work. It's gonna it's gonna hurt your feelings a little bit. No. You know, given that you're gonna have to write code. <laughs> No, I don't want to do that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. He jumps, he dunks, he scores. Here we go. Is that one passing? Yeah, that one's passing. That's the new one, right? Yeah. Cool. No, you, you don't have to do anything. I have to give you a failing test. I have to give you a failing test. Yeah, yeah, I'm just... Making sure I do a fetch, just to make sure I've got. I'm okay. following everything. <laughs> okay, okay, we're almost done with this one. That's great. This is great progress. Okay, so actually, Sam did make it pass. Well done, J Sam. You made it. I'm very proud of you. You did it, son. <laughs> <laughs> I like Sam. And Hassan's machine didn't burn into flames. Yeah, that's 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 uh that's quite concerning, isn't it? <laughs> 
retrieve if service error occurs. So you, I, I owe you. Next time, I need a little bit of hard task from you. Hassan. You want? You want me to give you a hard task? <laughs> okay. Ne actually, actually, Maybe next some, time you're gonna some, be right. Some, some, like write a uh, old data book. Oh, the old data book. Yeah, yeah. We need to do that together. That's true. <laughs> We need to do that together. That's right. Uh, failed OC for punishment. That <laughs> <laughs> sound comes in because ah, it's all too easy. I got this, <laughs> and then you can't load Visual Studio. It's like asking for trouble. <laughs> I like. I love how Paul says Visual Studio. It's weird. Visual stu Studio. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with Visual Studio? <laughs> Visual Studio. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Paul. It's good. You're my brother. Paul it's all right. I, I get it. You're still a broken American. It's fine. Yes. Yes, that's what it is. That's the Conf truth. Confused by the English language. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Inner exception for Paul Wardy. Paul, I guess Paul is going to be the one writing the final one. If you didn't, if you don't do it right, there are gonna be problems. Okay, so be nice. Oh, SQL service. I could lose, I could lose my job okay. over this. Context. So what's the meaning of for your alias? The meaning of, 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 of oh, his alias Te Wardy. Te Wardy. Yeah, it's supposed to be that Wardy, but you know he's typing too fast. Typo. Yeah, literally. <laughs> It's but, literally a typo. I swear to God, Sam. That's literally the truth. Truth to power. It is the, the literal <laughs> truth. <laughs> I'm not. I, I'm not even kidding, bro. That's literally what happened. I asked him about this. Of course I did, because why not? And he, he was like, he was like, oh, it's a typo. I was like, oh. Oh. <laughs> hmm. oh. <laughs> I, I wasn't surprised that it was a typo. It was a deliberate typo because at the time. There was this like going round everywhere I saw the word the, yeah. it was spelt wrong just everywhere. Yep. So I yep. was just like, fine, that's now going to be my. You just went with the flow. You just, you yeah. just, you, you just. And, and now, now, like everybody now asks going... me about it, and I'm like, ask what? Why are you asking? This is the way that the is spelt, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. <laughs> Uh, contact support and here's your inner exception oh my god this is this is funny we're almost done boys let's do this let's get let's get it done uh -huh. this is retrieve service where's my service sql service retrieve sql query uh yeah paul i'm gonna give you a failing test now son and you're gonna have to deal with your life Oh. Is it going to split? Oh, today is your lucky day. Today's, oh. yep, today's your lucky day, Paul. You're going to have to, <laughs> you're going to have to do the do. Do the do. Do the do, 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 do. <clears throat> is this one actually, this one's going to be difficult, isn't it? Or is it just another exception handler? What you, what's the new one? Throw, is this, is this a new test? Throw service exception or retrieve if service error occurs. Yeah, I should throw. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't actually push it yet. I was waiting for it to fail as a proper Wait, engineer. I'm confused. What, what does that mean? <laughs> throw an exception if an exception occurs. No, should throw service <laughs> exception on retrieve if service error occurs. So throw an exception if an exception occurs. Catch, mm -hmm. call, catch the exceptions, the base yeah. exception. Yeah, <clears throat> he's, 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 he's playing dumb. Don't worry about it. You know, come on, let's go, Paul. Mm -hmm. you, you worded it that way, not me. It's just, 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 just. Just, just, just. Do I need to like build it and stuff? Boop, 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 yeah, there we go. It wasn't giving me the new test. <sighs> oh. Oh God! Now it's my turn to fail with Visual Studio. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! There you go. So, so he kept making fun of you, Sam, because of your Visual Studio, and now that's his karma right there. His Visual Studio is for. <laughs> 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 Oh, come on, Visual Studio. Should I just make it pass instead? Weird. Okay, so normally I can just double click on the test and it'll open it. Just open the file like a normal I'll have person. To find it the old fashioned way, it's right? It's literally right there. O SQL exceptions retrieve. 
Is it this one? Yeah. Right, what's going on here? Depends. It's not this, this one. Second one. This one. Yes. Is this one. Right. Yes, yeah. sir. So. Come on, son. I need to go get my cup of tea. <laughs> so let. Can you write your code in Visual Studio <laughs> <laughs> on Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> so it throws a SQL exception. Uh -huh. oh, so we're saying it should throw a service exception if a SQL exception is thrown. Is that no, right? a, if yes. a service exception is thrown. Do you know how to read the test? That's the no. real question. I okay. have no idea how to read the test. Just just handle the exception, dude. You just just go to all SQL service dot exceptions. Oh, okay. So if what you're saying is if an exception is thrown in this try catch, I need to handle it in the try catch, right? Yeah, he's try he's catch. messing around with you. He knows these things. He's at, he's at, at a new catch. I swear to God, dude. He's okay. Fine. All right. Catch exception. Okay. okay. <laughs> I promise you, he did this fifty thousand times. <laughs> Sam, he's trolling. <laughs> Do not take uh, this from him. Oh, uh, what's the exception type that the broker throws? Exception. There, there just you go. exception, just there you exception. Go. There you go. There you can go. We, can we just cap, uh, catch any exception then, do we? Mm. Or do you want specifically like some sort of dependency exception? So if you write a name as ex, Hassan will change it later. Type exception like a normal human being. <laughs> you know, OC called dependency. Okay. So you copy all of this one. Yes. <sighs> Uh huh. Here we go. This is wrong, yeah. but okay. Fix your exception name, son. <clears throat> Lord, Lord, bear me mercy <laughs> and strength. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to figure out. Like, so is is the test if the dependency throws any exception, you want it caught? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? No. Or are you specifically looking for one of those OSQL exceptions? No. Go yeah, back. So normal exception. Just a normal exception. Right, so he's, mi he's missing around. I'm telling you. So if I throw any exception, if any exception is caught, then just yeah. throw a um, dependency so, exception, right? No, yes. no, that's not what the test is saying. No, 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 no. right? Oh no. my god, go back. Reward. Oh, look, look. Okay, Reward. okay, where is it? Where does it say dependency exception? <sighs> Right, it says if if the actual right, so the O SQL service exception is what yeah, you're you expecting, are, right? Your original code is correct. Go back. So you work your code. You revert, yeah, revert the code that you deleted. Control minus. Does he actually do use the mouse to go back? Okay. Whatever it says dependency, turn it into service. Right. Oh, okay. Okay, and then also O SQL ser service exception. Oh boy, there you go, and then make this O SQL service exception. He knows the stuff. He's just missing around. I'm telling you. But you don't handle exceptions. Fix, way, fix, fix the exception name. What AX? What X engineer? Which is X X X member of the O data project? Is that because that's what comes to mind when you say X, you know? That's what you're going to be if you leave it there. <laughs> so, X is X member of the standard me. community. <laughs> X means previous, right? So, most of the time, using X for the X boy, X, X girl. Yeah. X man, X, X, X plane, which is previous plane. <laughs> <laughs> But I like EX. Previous one. <laughs> run, dude. Run the test. You, 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 you're, you, run. Just run. Did, 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 we broke <laughs> run. I have so, so many bad words in my head right now. <laughs> <laughs> just... All right. Make your commit and create a pull request. Uh, Good I don't, God. I don't know what the commit should be called. <laughs> oh, there you go. No, look, no. Look. One dash. Don't listen. So, okay. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to... 
<laughs> so I so okay, I'm I'm gonna take you off the project because I told you not to do it this way. Fine. All right. Here it is, right here, right now. <laughs> okay. All right. What did I, I get wrong? I told you not to commit this way, and you did. So there it I is. Well, what did I get wrong? Uh -huh. Oh, what did I get wrong? Oh, I don't know. Fire, oh <laughs> my God! It can be it. <laughs> Do you need me to amend it? <laughs> you better. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. I will come back to you. I'll be like, just, just check the check box. Click amend. <clears throat> I don't even know how you. Um, mm -hmm. Can I just change the comment without actually yeah. committing anything new? Yeah. Just, just put a, a space or something somewhere. Oh, right, that was a genuine mistake. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. There you go. There we go. I bet it's going to tell you pull and push. Okay, there you go. And create the pull request, son. Create the pull request. Actually, don't. Just just don't touch anything. <laughs> just just stay away from everything. Hold on. Just just <laughs> just stop everything you're doing right now. <laughs> You've already caused enough damage. <laughs> just just Stop it. I told you I'm a terrible developer. Uh huh. I'm, a te uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm sure. I'm sure that's what it is. You were warned. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's why I didn't give you the offer because I already opened it as a draft PR. Okay. Ah, hmm. uh, okay. So I guess that's it. That calls it. So now that basically means we're getting really, really close because that basically takes care of the, um, you know, the SQL service that we talked about earlier. And just to just give you guys a little bit of visual of where we're at, uh, just by doing that, we basically took care of this piece. So now we just need to finish up this guy. This would be the one that we need to offer. It's going to offer a bunch of capabilities. And then we offer this one. And then we go put a client in front of it, and then Sam publishes it, which I expect to be within the next couple of weeks. We should be done with this. Um, you guys are getting a little bit faster than than when we first started, which is great. A lot less argumentative, for sure. You know, a little bit more trolly, but that's okay. Um, th thank you all for coming in today. Truly appreciate it. Uh, appreciate your hard work in this. We're having a lot of fun, truly. And uh, I'll see you on Friday. Take Friday. care. Bye. <laughs>